Hi there, I'm Sarah Maud. I'm the founder of the Mind Solution International. And there's a day in March 2023, which I would love to put on your agenda. And it's the International Day of Happiness. And the International Day of Happiness happens on the 20th of March each year. And it was created by the United Nations in its resolution in July 2012 in recognizing the importance and the relevance of happiness as universal human goals. Happiness and well-being being our universal goals and making sure that from a policy perspective, we are recognizing happiness in creating whatever policies in our state. And I think it's a really wonderful idea to recognize that also internally within our organizations. So when it comes to policy, when it comes to process, when it comes to change initiatives, what is it that we're taking in, into consideration when it comes to the happiness and the well-being of our workforce? And I know from working in human resources for 12 years, when it came to certain policy and process, we had to follow certain employment laws. But there was also a number of internal policies, which thinking about knowing what I know now, if I'd known that back then, implementing them, I might have been inclined to do things differently or certainly communicate things differently so that whatever it was that as the head of HR I was implementing, I was rolling out on behalf of the organization, I had it in my mind of people's happiness and well-being. So the reason for this video is to really invite you to reflect on what policy and process what change initiatives, effectively, what internal culture are you cultivating? What's your climate creating? And how aligned is that to people's well being and happiness? Because we know, fundamentally, we know that if you have a happy and a well workforce, then things like thriving at work, productivity at work, harmony at work, more effective relationships, they're naturally taking care of themselves. Because actually our natural state is happiness. Our natural state is one of well-being. So it's not that we have to do anything to particularly create happiness and well-being. From an organizational culture and climate perspective, it's looking at perhaps what is it that we are doing as an organization? What is it that we're doing as business leaders that can take people away from that natural state of happiness and well being? What are the kind of behaviors, policies, processes, initiatives that we are implementing or looking to implement that will push people away from happiness and well being? or push them back towards that natural state. And something which you also might like to consider doing as part of International Happiness Day is helping people to understand actually that is their natural state. Because a lot of human beings, they fall into the trap and we've all been there, I'm sure we've all been there, but they can fall into the trap of I'll be happy when. I'll be happy when uh, things calm down at work. I'll be happy when I've got a new manager. I'll be happy when I've got a promotion. I'll be happy when I found Mr. or Mrs. Wright. I'll be happy when um, I can get to take some time out this year. I'll be happy when I've lost 10 pounds. I'll be happy when we're pursuing the goal of happiness outside of ourselves. We've fallen into this illusion that there is something that we have to do to create this feeling of happiness. So something that you might like to consider doing is running a webinar about the happiness effect and helping people to understand 
that happiness is inherent within all of us. And it's helping employees identify, again, what is it that they are doing that's taking them away from that feeling of happiness? So if they are pursuing the goal of happiness outside of themselves, if they are pursuing that, I'll be happy when, then actually they're taking themselves further and further away from what already exists within them. So there's some food for thought, ways that you can create happier workforces in order to celebrate International Happiness Day. And if we can help you with that, then do drop us a line, info at The Mind Solution, or get in touch, www.themindsolution.com, and have a wonderful, happy day.